hey guys welcome to my video in this video we are going to look at docker networking especially bridge networking so initially i was like preparing a lot for this demo but then it turned out docker documentation is the best so they have like a perfect uh, demo for us actually so we are just going to blindly follow docker demo uh, or docker documentation and uh, let's see what we can learn let's jump right in i am actually logged into my amazon easy to instance uh, and the docker documentation that i was talking about is basically this so they have a, a network tutorial and and there's basically a about like uh, four different kinds of networking configuration but this one is bridge networking so we're just going to jump right into the steps and uh, let's actually just look at this command in particular which is docker network ls right so docker network ls so and that shows like three networks bridge host and none okay and the next thing is we are going to create a couple of containers so and then they are based on alpine uh, image docker image and then ash is basically shell it's a shell that's similar to bash but it's just ash which comes with alpine so let's go ahead and create it and so I want to show you one more thing before we do this so I want to run if config minus a so right now we have uh, the LO which is loopback and loopback is a virtual interface that's like on all the hosts and then we have ETH0 that's like that's the interface that's the default in the first interface that uh, you know belongs to this host and this is my private IP and then docker 0 so once you install install uh, docker uh, this docker 0 will show up actually right and then it's got like this um, 172.17.0.1 so this is the IP of docker 0 right so we are now going to just uh, execute the, the commands from the documentation so let's actually just create this uh, first container. It's pulling the Alpine image. And then let's go ahead and create the second container as well. And then the container names are Alpine 1 and Alpine 2. Oftentimes, like the uh, documentation usually provides like good demos and people don't spend or I don't spend much time looking at those demos and trying them out. I think I'm going to do them more and I recommend you to do the same. Uh, okay, so here, so we have two containers. Let's go ahead and just check out the container details. Uh, we could do a Docker PS also, that will work. So we have two containers running, it's perfect. So now there is an inspect command which is going to give you more details and then in uh, or specifically we are going to inspect the bridge uh, network right because that's the kind of network that we are looking at today so docker network inspect bridge so this output shows that so there is two containers in the bridge network right and these are the IPs of those containers right and obviously uh, yeah so that's what it says and there's more information uh, it says this is the this is the bridge network gateway IP etc etc right I mean uh, I don't understand most of what I see here but I do understand this part which is okay which containers are on bridge network right and the next one is uh, let's see okay so before we attach to this container and then check what's inside there, I want to again show you my if config, which shows all the 
in you know interface configuration uh, you will see that along with this so we saw docker 0 uh, eth 0 and then lo which is loopback and then we have two virtual ethernet interfaces created right so these are uh, obviously like they are created as we were creating uh, yeah they were created as we were creating the containers so just wanted to show you that uh, we it might go unnoticed so let's actually connect to this alpine one container right so alpine one okay so we are here and then they want to see they want us to see this IP um, IP address so IP address show okay so now you can see that the IP of this container which is what we saw in the bridge inspect command as well or the network inspect command of bridge network right so this is that the same thing is uh, is what we're seeing here and let's ping google.com uh, from this and say ping I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because they have specified count two I'm just gonna do this so it will ping like a few times I'm just gonna control C out so six packets transmitted six packets received 0% loss that means actually we are able to hit google.com from inside the container so the outbound is working outbound to internet is working so now uh, we are going to basically try connecting to this um, IP of container 2 right so alpine 2 container so I'm just going to get this IP I'm just going to ping that and you can see that we are able to connect to the other container you know we are able to hit alpine 2 from alpine 1 actually so that is what this is showing and uh, let's see if we can ping the other container using the the name of that container which is alpine 2 not right so that's not possible and okay so let's go ahead and we can do the same things from the other container as well uh, but we are not going to do that so I'm just going to exit and I'm going to just uh, get rid of these containers and then basically that too okay so all the containers are stopped and removed now we are going to jump to uh, user defined bridge network so earlier we saw like the default bridge which is docker 0 right and then let's actually create another bridge called alpine net actually right so let's go ahead and do that and uh, yeah Let's go ahead and do that so it created like another net uh, bridge network and let's just do a in if config for just fun actually let's just to see what shows up there oh see there's another uh, a bridge interface right so apart from docker 0 it created another interface actually so that's interesting and then you can see the difference uh, between the IPs that are being used actually this one's dot 17 this one's dot 18 okay so now uh, again we can use this command to see what bridges or what networks are available on this host uh, so there are two bridge networks one is the default one the other one is the alpine net that we just created okay so and then docker network inspect which is a command now we are familiar with that command and uh, instead of bridge we are inspecting this user defined network right now there is no containers on this network so that's what it shows here 
and then this is the IP of that network etc etc we already saw that okay so now we are going to create more containers so let's actually do uh, this Alpine one container creation and then we are going to specific or uh, specify that this is going to be on Alpine net right so let's do that so Alpine net right oh yeah so that got created uh, if you want we can run the inspect command again so now one container is showing up and and let's keep creating all these other containers like one one is already done so two three four okay so this one is also on alpine net network and the third one if you notice is not going to be on alpine net so it's going to go to bridge the default bridge network right so just wanted to clarify that and then the fourth one is uh, let's see the fourth one is going to show it's going to be on the alpine net which is the user defined or basically the, the network that we are just we just created right so one two and four are on alpine net and alpine three is on the default one so let's actually see what this command does i don't know so let's actually try it out so it basically connected alpine four to bridge as well so alpine four is now on alpine net and alpine uh, on, and bridge network actually so one container can be on two networks that's what uh, they are trying to show here i guess so let's go ahead and do a container ls or you can do a docker ps that's what i usually use and we have four containers running uh let's go ahead and uh we just took a look at this so we are good right so now let's con connect to one of these containers which is alpine one first and uh, okay let's ping alpine 2 and this is a surprise because when we created a container and and uh, we uh, on the bridge the default bridge network we were not able to ping other containers using the names of uh, those containers right so we tried to ping alpine 2 from alpine 1 and we couldn't use the name we had to use the IP so with the user defined network that is the advantage right so 0% packet loss so this is successful and uh, I think the same thing will, will work for other um, yeah other containers as well so so that makes sense so only thing is since Alpine 3 if you remember Alpine 3 alone is on a different bridge right Alpine 3 is on the default bridge so if we try to ping alpine 3 it's not going to work because it is on a different bridge a different bridge network okay and so so that's the separation there now um even if we used uh, the ip it's not going to work uh, that's what they're showing here so that's docker sorry not docker so ping so what's the address again just 172.17.0.2 what is the ip there so let's go and find out so this is the bridge alpine 3 this is the address so we are trying to use the IP to ping Alpine 3 and where are we? We are connected to Alpine 1. So Alpine 1 is on pay, uh, uh, the user defined bridge network which is Alpine net. So it's not able to ping. So that's basically the point there. And what else? What else? What else? So yeah. and rest is pretty much the same basically we will be able to ping to google from all these containers so the outbound 
to internet is uh, is actually working it works from all the containers and uh, that's pretty much it so so bridge network is basically like a private network where you know you can create your own bridge networks there is a default bridge network and uh, containers which are connected to one bridge they can communicate with each other or one container can be on two different bridges at the same time so that's uh, that's pretty much the understanding there and i learned a little bit from this demo and i hope it's uh, useful to you as well and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more demos like this and uh, get uh, free tutorials on databases, DevOps and AWS. See you guys next time.